integration platform. I find its ability to be used as a general purpose toolbox for general purpose everyday tasks to be great. Take this map for example, get stock. I read a stock symbol in input card one, in this case Lloyds Bank. Then I use the HTTP adapter to scrape the data from the finance pages of yahoo.com. Then I use the text function to find a specific string, in this case regular market price. Let's have a look at the raw data retrieved by the HTTP adapter and we can find that string and the actual value I'm looking for which in this case is 32. Okay back to the map. In output card 2 I used the mid function and a couple of word functions to get that data and then finally I output it in output card 3. Okay so that's a simple map done that scrapes one stock. Let's move on to my second map, get stocks. In this map, in the input card, I read stocks.txt. This file, a simple text file, is a, a list of stocks that I want to scrape, uh, three in this case. In my map, again, uh, I take those items and for each one of those stocks, I drop down to a functional map, f underscore each stock. In that map, I use a run function to call the first map that I wrote, get stock. I echo in the symbol that I read and then I grab the value from output card 3 back into this map. This map does a couple of other jobs as well. It makes a note of some date and time information so that this information can be presented in my spreadsheet later to show when the script was run. Talking of the script, let's actually have a look at the script that calls this um, this this map. It's um, Oh, yeah. Now let's have a look at the CSV file first. This is the raw data that's produced by the script. Okay, so looking at the script, I uh, call the command server in line two there, and then I've got a couple of extra lines three and four that actually fire off the CSV file and an XLS file that I've pre-produced. Now these uh, start commands will actually fire them off in the background and use the operating system to determine which program to load. In this case it calls up Excel. And here we go, here's my spreadsheet. As you can see the date and time has been brought in 1st of April 2020 at 17.55 which is the current time. And up in K1 you can see the stocks have been produced, uh, brought in giving me an overall summary of my stock portfolio. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Thank <music> you.